This is the Ultra Olympus 4 trail running shoe that I bought for my own money to be used on my hikes during 2022 after I experienced problems and injuries after using the Timbs because this season started out in a really bad way. During my second hike for this year, I ran into some problems and got some injuries that forced me to change the shoes. And that's why I ended up with the Olympus. Today I will go through the reasons why I changed, the difference between the Timbs and the Olympus, and my experience using them, and why I believe the Olympus to be the best ultra shoe for hiking, so stay tuned. Hi and welcome to a new episode. Now I have been using the Timbs for about two years and I had no problems whatsoever during that period of time and I have enjoyed every step. But a couple of days before an early hike this year, I injured my knee while doing some stuff in the garden. So I nearly canceled that trip, but the knee healed pretty quick and felt okay. So I decided to proceed and do the hike anyways. To make a long story short, I shouldn't have done that hike. Because of my bad knee, I limped a little bit, resulting in further injuries along the way. Two blue toenails and a really bad pain in my left ankle. I did manage to finish my hike anyways, but it resulted that I had to rest for about two to three months. Doctor's orders. I had, if I had the right translation, something that is called anterior tibial tendonitis, not a doctor. But half of the hiking season was more or less ruined. Now. Enough about me and let's talk about the Ultra Olympus and why I believe them to be the best trail runner for hiking. But before that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Super Sparrow, a producer of stainless steel and BPA free plastic bottles in a big variety for everyday life and for practice with the motto, we have committed to providing sustainable water bottles alternatives that help reduce plastic waste. I was honestly surprised by the high quality and the big variety of different options and styles that you can choose from. So I'm sure that you can find one suitable for your needs. So do be sure and check them out at supersparrow.com or on Amazon. Now Ultra Olympus versus the Timps. And there are some real differences that I find very positive. The Timps has Ultra's own outsole, the Max Trek sole, while the Olympus has a Vibrant sole. And in my experience using them both, the grip on the Vibrant sole is so much better, especially on wet surfaces. I have used them in really rocky and bad terrain, and they have a superb grip and stability for a trail runner. Secondly, the stack height is much higher. 33 millimeters on the Olympus compared to 29 on the Timps and an EVA midsole instead of the Quantic insole on the Timbs. You can clearly feel the added cushioning and you will not feel the small sharp stones that you step on and you will have less pain and less sore feet by the end of the day. Thirdly, and what I didn't expect was the amount of room that you get in the toe box in the Olympus compared to the Timbs. It is a huge difference, both in width and height in the toe box and you will have plenty of space to wiggle your toes. Nice. I don't really believe that my blue toenails was a result of a bad shoe, but rather by limping for 60 kilometers. But wow, after switching from the Timbs to the Olympus, my toes are the happiest ones. The extra room will make sure I never have to worry about blue toenails ever again. Now let's talk a bit about the stack height before addressing the elephant in the room that they wear out pretty quick which I will talk about a little bit later on. But the stack height, I guess a lot of people are a little bit worried about the thick stack height that you get with the Olympus and that you will lose the ground contact or touch or, or feel of ground or whatever you call it. And to be honest, I was a little bit worried myself. But no, absolutely not. The added stack height gave me only more comfort and I didn't trip and fall and I didn't get caught on any branches or roots or rocks and I didn't have any problems where to set my foot or anything like that. The added stack height is only a positive thing if you ask me and it adds a lot to the comfort. It literally feels like walking on a cloud. And no, I'm not in any way sponsored by Ultra. This is my honest opinion. Yep, just like the header says, the Olympus is a quick drying shoe. I use only a kilt as a rain protection so when it's raining, my pants get wet from the knees and down and my shoes get soaked. 
So then it is important to have a quick drying shoe and a shoe that drains while walking. And I have had no problems with either the Timps or the Olympus. What I normally do when reaching camp is to remove the inner sole and leave it to dry inside my tent and then use the shoes as camp shoes without any socks in them. Then normally they are dry enough the next day to be used again uh, without any problems. Now the big elephant in the room and the second biggest concern is that the Olympus and the same goes for all ultra shoes actually that they wear out pretty quick. And I agree, but I mean, let's face it, most of us are not through hikers. So if we need to replace our shoes after 300 miles or 480 kilometers, that means we could probably use the same shoes for a full season. And I find that to be okay. And I mean, it is always nice to start a new season with a new pair of shoes anyways, without the smell from past season. If looking at my shoes, I've been using for about 200 kilometers where they look and feel almost brand new. Sure, they are a bit dirty and maybe also a bit smelly. <coughs> yeah, other than that, they are in pretty good shape. But I also totally do understand through hikers that go through several pairs of shoes for only one hike. And it is a problem to replace shoes that often and with a lot of added costs, of course. But for me, when comfort and grip is the most important thing, the Olympus is unmatched for me so far. But if you are doing longer hikes and maybe through hikes especially, maybe you should look for another shoe or another brand completely. Yep, the Ultras are expensive and they cost about 2000 to 2500 Swedish or about $180 depending if it is the four or the five you're buying and where you're buying them. You could probably get them cheaper on sale or on Amazon perhaps, but they are expensive. Are they worth it? I would say, yeah. If you only use one pair a year or maybe as much as two seasons, the price ain't that high and other brands aren't much cheaper. But if doing longer hikes like through hikes, maybe it's worth to spend a little time checking out the alternatives to save a little bit of money. But what do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that the Ultra Olympus is the perfect shoe for hiking? Or do you have better alternatives that you prefer? Tell us all about it by leaving a comment. But for now, this is it. And if you liked today's episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. I also hope to see you again next week. But for now, take care, safe hiking and Bye-bye.